Good morning, folks. Clear out your ears. I've got a lot to throw at you today. We've got space weather incoming. We had a special video last night, and part two comes tonight. We've got a tropical storm watch and some cool science news as well. Let's start by looking at the GOES X-ray flux chart for solar flares. The two largest spikes are the first near X-class flare we reported yesterday morning. The second large spike is another near X-class flare event that happened yesterday. And there was a smaller but long duration flare event just this morning on the right. NOAA has analyzed the first near X-class flare. It produced a faint CME, which could deliver a glancing blow tomorrow night. But it's not the only thing we have coming. Let's watch the second big flare, which happened yesterday. This one appears to have produced a CME as well, and while no endless spirals are updated for this one, the coronagraph seemed to show another eruption, a halo event, and so that means we could have two on the way. But that wasn't all, because that weaker but longer duration flare event this morning included several pops near center disk. And while discerning between them when it comes to the coronagraphs is challenging, it does appear we have yet a third event that could be coming our way, all expected to impact this weekend and into Monday. None of them are huge, but a triple hit or even a double if only two make impact should drive geomagnetic storms and of course, We've still got a lot to be watching today as well as the sunspots are still large and obviously quite active. Eyes on our star and on the solar wind over the weekend. Folks, a tropical storm is roaring to life just off the east coast. It is slated to head northward and make impact in North Carolina, followed by Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. Eyes open as that event ramps up tomorrow as well. In stupid news, they are finding new viruses in the deep, because that's exactly what we need. Bring them up to the surface, why don't you? Several space telescopes have combined to map the cosmic landscape between us and Massey's galaxy, the furthest one known. They also managed to debunk a different one, James Webb and others seeing a galaxy so ancient here that it confronts their cosmological timeline of events. Pretty cool animation up next from NASA indicating how they think a long gamma ray burst occurs. It's as a star ends its life and blasts out jets. The mechanics of this are honestly still a lot of guesswork, but got to admit, it looks pretty. Lastly, folks, yesterday afternoon we put out the magnetic body impact video, the one below, describing some of the impacts of magnetic fields to our bodies. The number one question was about defense. What can we do? And this afternoon, the strengthening your fields video will come out. That's the one on top. Don't miss that at 6 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Mountain Time. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun this weekend. Watch last night's video and come back later today for the sequel. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.